This morning, we will be honoring those who are moving on to their next adventure, our Bristol retirees, as well as those who have dedicated years of service to our college. We will also be honoring employees with various awards of recognition. We will be doing this while we enjoy culinary favorites put on by our very own culinary art students under the direction of Chef Esteban Martinez. Round of applause, please, for their good work. This year, we have a very special recognition, a golden anniversary of 50 years of service. Dedicating your career to our college for 50 years is commendable. It humbles me and we are thrilled to be able to honor your service today. We know you will have a great time and enjoy spending time with each other. So without further ado, I would like to introduce President Laura Douglas. Thank you, Emmanuel. It is wonderful to welcome all of you here today. What a great turnout. And uh, this is really one of my very favorite celebrations at the college, a time for our employees to truly, truly shine. And today is Cinco de Mayo. I'm not sure when the margaritas are coming out. Um, but it is Cinco de Mayo, and it is a holiday that holds a lot of significance uh, and meaning for our Mexican community uh, and uh, its friends all around the world. So for those of you who don't know much about Cinco de Mayo, and it is not just about margaritas for sure, it is the day that commemorates the Mexicans, uh, Mexican Army's unlikely victory over the French forces in the Battle of Puebla on May 5th, 1862. And this battle may not have been the final victory in the War of Reform, but it became the symbol of Mexican resistance and resilience. And that's why it's so important today. Cinco de Mayo is not just a day to celebrate Mexican culture, but a reminder of the importance of standing up for what's right and fighting for justice. Great compass for all of us, right? It's a day to honor the bravery and determination of those who fought for their beliefs and inspired future generations to do the same. So, viva Cinco de Mayo. So let's continue by celebrating our employees who work at all of our locations across all of our communities in each area of the college. Our honorees, retirees, and those reaching milestone years have provided exceptional service to the college. I know that you will stand on this stage with me today as a proud Bristol Community College employee I know I am proud to receive my five-year pin along with you. You feel it most when you go out into the community and tell people where you work. Or if you're like me and I'm still wearing my badge at Stop and Shop and I'm checking out in the grocery line and somebody says, oh, you work at Bristol Community College? I." I'm a student at Bristol Community College, or something like that. Those, those uh, incidents happen all the time to me. And I always get a smile, like you do too, a shared understanding of how important our mission is and how we serve our community. And many times, I also get a story, their own, their loved ones, or someone else who has been touched by our college. And it's all because of you and what you do here at Bristol Community College. Every department, every location, every employee, every student needs to be honored here today for their dedication to Bristol. A gem in our community that shines brightly on even the most challenging of days. Along with those who are celebrating achievements today, I'd like to take a moment to recognize 
the many others who have gone be above and beyond, taken time away from their families, given their all to our students, no matter what obstacles we have faced. And we have had our share lately. <laughs> when I joined Bristol almost six years ago, I vowed to create a college-going culture in our community. And we are making great progress on this uh, promise throughout our programs, our partnerships, and of course, all of your hard work. Whether achieving a degree in higher education, a high school equivalency, uh, learning English as a second language, receiving college credit while still in high school, or being trained in one of the fastest growing industries in our region, offshore wind. Any student who walks through our doors has the power to be unstoppable. You are the reason. I recognize your commitment and the fact that you continue to come to work each day with your sleeves rolled up and ready to support our students. It is our job to keep students at the forefront, the college on course, everyone safe, and to be ready for anything that comes our way. Next up, free community college. Things are looking very promising for the Mass Reconnect program, which is the free community college program for adults who are 25 and older. Mass Reconnect, Reconnect is a game changer for our students and our community, uh, those students especially who otherwise would not have the opportunity to go to college. Already, teams are gathering across the college and across the Commonwealth for this very ambitious project. And I know that we will lead the effort, like we always do, to make it happen for our community. And there are other, others at the college that I would like to acknowledge today. They lighten our days and exemplify Bristol kindness. You know who you are. You share fun stories about your family and friends, jump in when needed, bring in chocolate or sweet bread, Jose, just saying. Those people who like to come to work and bring in chocolate or sweet bread, I think that would be you. Uh, you make us laugh, you listen, you care, you share just the right, right gif, especially during meetings, and always find time to stop and help a student in need. You make our college shine in a very special way. Let's give all of these folks a special round of applause. Thank you, thank you for all you do. So let's get started with our awards, our Year of Service Awards. We have 104 employees uh, celebrating service milestones with the college this year. Each employee will receive a pin indicating their years of service and a donation in the employee's name will be made to the Student Employment Program um, in the amount of the employee's years of service. So a few prog program notes and I'd like you to listen carefully. We appreciate your, your patience and pronunciation of names and we apologize in advance for any unintended errors. Uh, the human resources staff work diligently to make this event error free, but inevitably someone inadvertently gets missed. So if you got missed for any reason, please just email human resources and they will make it 100% right. This year, we're not gonna have anyone come up on stage. Um, all names are listed in your program and behind me on the screen, we're going to be listing um, on our, um, we're gonna be listing the names and also on our Bristol Shines webpage, bristolcc.edu slash Bristol Shines after the ceremony. So you can go on our website to, to see the list as well. I will call the names of each of the years of service and please stand when your name is called and stay standing until the year is complete. So as I go through all the five years, stand up if you're one of them, stay standing so we can have the time to look around the room and honor you and your years of service. 
So for the sake of time, please hold your applause until the end of each year or award. And then following the ceremony, if you are getting a pin, you can just go out to the G building lobby where there's a table and pick up your pin. So awards and retiree gifts will be available at the tables in the back corner of the atrium. So some of you are getting some gifts as well and some certificates. So let's begin with those who are celebrating five years of service. Please stand. This year, there are 31 people celebrating five years of service at Bristol. So congratulations. Let's uh, go ahead and, uh, and stand up. Here we go, Laura Alisea. Car no, 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 we're gonna wait for the applause. Yeah, keep standing, we'll get this right, we'll get this right. Car <laughs> Carlos Avila, Joanne Bentley, Thomas Borden, Joshua Brewer, Christopher Carrera, James Crones, Adam Clavel, David Coleman, Stephanie Dupre, Laura Douglas, Maha Fayem, Fred Galpern, Judith Garcia, Timothy Hernandez, Robert Kidd, Heather Knuth, Jessica Macho, Robert Martin, Patrick Matthews, Jennifer O'Brien, Nathan Pacheco, Mario Raya, Christopher Silva, Kathleen Smith Wenning, Joseph Spencer, Joanna Stumper, Mar Marella Voikulescu, Eric Weldon, Shenju Zhang, and Jay Yoon. So, let's give them a round of applause. Congratulations. With those celebrating 10 years of service, please stand. This year, there are 36 people celebrating 10 years at Bristol. Uh, they are Autumn Alden, Katie Alves, Lois Amaral, Don Aruda, Don Bianville, Nancy Lee Devane, Brooke Doherty, Daisy Duffy, Kelly Fassbender, Bruce Fraser, Stephen Frechette, Tracy Furtado Chagas, Renata Garcia, Robert Geddes, Stephen Goulet, Kimberly Griffith, Saeed Hassan, William Longbauer, Corey Lopes, Esteban Martinez, there he is somewhere, there we go, he's in the back, Ryan Menard, Jenny Moniz, Livia Newbert, Jennifer Ormerod, Robert Pavau, Jennifer Pugnello, Nicole Rondau, Tracy Rossi, Sarmad Saman, Sudad Saman, Dana Schlang, Michael Sapala, Joseph Spramuli, Robert Vitello, Zachary Wolfson, and Kathleen Wood Wardell. Let's give them all a round of applause. So next we move on to 15 years of service and I'd like for those of you called to stand. This year there are 12 people celebrating 15 years of service. Tracy Armoral Tracy, William Berardi, David Bassett, Sharon Brunel, Helen Danderand, Jenna DiPartoli, Rose Farrow, Amy Levesque, Lisa Noel, James Smith, Deborah St. George, and Kalamu Wolde Georges. Congratulations to all of you who celebrated 15 years. So now we move on to 20. And I'm going to ask you to stand. We have four people today who are celebrating 20 years at Bristol. Farah Habib. There she is. Sheila Pacheco. Elizabeth McCarthy. 
and Holly Pappas. Congratulations. And we have employees with 25 years of service and, beyond, and above, and their names have been placed on the sculptures in our recognition garden. That's right down here uh, alongside of our art gallery. Um, this, ga this garden embod embodies the stages of garden life. Each sculpture has a planter base with name plaques and the sculptures are Sprout, symbolizing the employee recognition program, Blossom and Flower, for those who have 25 years, uh, and then Leaves at 30 years, Fruit at 35 years, and Seed at 40 plus years. So next time you walk by the garden, I hope you'll take a look and see whose names are on the plaques. So please stand when I call your name and remain uh, standing. This year we are celebrating 12 people who have 25 years of service at Bristol. Deborah Anderson, Renee Cardinal, Vasco Cordero, Helene Costa, Ralph Desjardins, Robin Gallant, Paul Jefferson, Margaret Judge, Sandy Ligren, Joanne Pelletier, Thais Real Martins, and Keith Tony. Congratulations. Your names are going in the garden. So celebrating 30 years of service, this year there are two people in this category. Please hold your applause until the end. Um, Michael Coughlin and Donna Davis. Donna, why don't you take a bow? Take a bow. Take a bow. There we go. That's terrific. Also, your name is going to be in the garden. Celebrating 35 years of service, there are five people in this category that we are recognizing today. Please stand when, we, uh, when your name is called, and we'll hold our applause to the end. Margaret Currow. Becky Faraz, Wayne Golan, Carol Martin, and Howard Tinberg. Congratulations. <laughs> Woohoo! Take a bow. Let's take a bow. Well done. And celebrating 40 years of service. We have one person here today, Carol Ginsburg, that we are celebrating. Take a bow, Carol. Fantastic. Wonderful. Thank you so much. So now I'd like to announce the person who is celebrating 50 years of service to the college. It is an honor to congratulate Priscilla Grosser, one of our first faculty members who began working at the college 50 years ago. She could not join us today, but we send her our best wishes, and perhaps you might want to shoot her an email or send her a card in congratulations. When she began at Bristol in the early 1970s, boy, nothing like date stamping an employee, right? <laughs> Employees, uh, computers were the size of refrigerators, and they had to be operated in air-conditioned rooms. COBOL was the hot programming language at that time, and businesses were just rushing to computerize their systems and operations. And computer programmers were in very high demand. 
In response, Bristol Community College started the computer programming program and engaged Priscilla as an adjunct to teach the courses. As demand for the program grew, Bristol hired Priscilla as a full-time faculty and department chair. And it should be noted, until now, the only chair of what has been the Computer Information Systems Department. Wow, right? At first, she was the entire CIS department. <laughs> teaching all of the courses and advising all of the students. She had a knack for identifying emerging trends and Bristol was among one of the first colleges to offer cutting edge courses, certificates and degrees in emerging technology like computer networking, computer forensics, game development, and cybersecurity. Keeping the curriculum relevant was critical, and through Priscilla's leadership, Bristol kept up to date. Priscilla was an early adopter and innovator in online education. She bought her own domain, developed her own website to house her courses, and was one of the first instructors to ever teach online at Bristol Community College. She implemented a CIS mentor program whereby current students were paired up with Bristol graduates working in the computer field. As Priscilla reached out to her former students for their help, she, incur she encountered an enthusiastic willingness to give back to Bristol, resulting in a dedicated cadre of computer professionals to advise our students year after year. For more than a half century, Priscilla has been first and foremost all about her students. All that she has done and what has just been described merely scratches the surface of her lifetime contribution to Bristol Community College, and it has been all about student success. The thousands of her students who have achieved that success are the best testimony to her 15 years of success. We congratulate her on her 50 years of achievement. We thank her for her 50 years of service to Bristol Community College and wish her the best in her retirement. So I know I know we have some people who are recording this event for Priscilla, so how about if we all stay standing, and on the count of three, we say, we love you, Priscilla. Can you get that on tape? Are we ready? One, two, three. We love you, Priscilla. Thank you for that. I know Priscilla wishes that she could be here. So we are now going to recognize our recent and or soon to be retirees. So I'd like you to please stand when your name is called. And again, just remain standing until the end if we could, okay? So first, Joyce Adler Fernandez, professor of speech, who will also serve as this year's Grand Marshal. And remain standing if you would, Joyce. Laura Carlson, Carlson director of event scheduling. Jose, yes. Jose De Silva, maintainer one. Susan DeCoste, staff assistant. Sue is currently in France celebrating her retirement. Jill Dumont, coordinator of health services. 
Johanna DuPont Williams, Professor of Occupational Therapy. Sean Elliott, Staff Assistant. Becky Faraz, EDP System Analyst for. Deborah Grand Palumbo, Academic Coordinator. Priscilla Grosser, Professor of CIS. Virginia or Ginny Lehman, Staff Associate. Diane Manson, DC ESL and Associate Professor of Reading and ESL. <laughs> Carol Martin, Coordinator of General Studies and Professor, professor of OA, Office Assistant. <laughs> Jimmy Owens, Associate Professor of Human Services. Kathleen Plant, Professor of Nursing. Robert Rack, Professor of Environmental Technology. Sarmad Saman, Dean of STEM. Susan Shannon, Administrative Assistant Two. Robert Vitello, Associate Director, Business Development. <laughs> Linda Vivero, Staff Associate and Media Buyer, Marketing and Communications. <laughs> Patricia Weisberger, Learning Specialist. And Kathleen Wardell, Executive Assistant to the President. <laughs> Congratulations to our retirees. I hope you, that you'll make the most of your retirement uh, and don't hesitate to come back and visit us from time to time. We'd love to stay in touch. So um, up next, uh, Emmanuel Echevarria will read our Performance Recognition Program Award participants. So I am a uh, recipient. I'm going to call Emmanuel back up to the stage. Thank you. Right. Thank you, everybody. The Performance Recognition Program is a statewide program where employees in state service are nominated by peers and supervisors for their extraordinary contributions to public service. We're going to read the names only, but we encourage you to visit the website for more details at bristolcc.edu forward slash Bristol Shines. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing. Bristol Community College individual winners for the Citation for Outstanding Performance for 2022 are HR's very own Pamela Legg, Manager of Employee Benefits and Compensation, and, and Stephen Frechette, Associate Professor of Cybersecurity. Congratulations to both of you. You may be seated. Thank you. There are three group winners as well. Please hold applause until the end. Academic Innovation and Professional Development. This group was awarded for collaboration with various areas across the college to provide robust professional development programming focused on equity, assessment, high impact practices, proactive advising, accessibility, and engaged learning in an online environment. William Duffy. Stephanie Govea. Timothy Hathaway, Danielle Lasitra, Brian McGuire, Nicholas O'Brien, 
Crystal Pinello. Facilities and Trades. This group was awarded for their service to Bristol while working through a pandemic to keep all facilities, goals, and initiatives on track with a positive attitude. Richard Boyer, Ernest Dupuy, Benjamin Lefervor, Kenneth Novo, Nathan Pacheco, Carlos Pereira, Brian Pyrus. The College Governance Council. This group was awarded for redefining the college governance system to more closely align it with the work of the college's strategic plan. Nancy Benson, Kelly Hiller, April Lynch, Katie Mello. <laughs> Clearly the awardees all wanted to sit together. Thank you for your tireless efforts. Let's have another round of applause for outstanding performance for our 2022 group winners. And she has some telepathic powers, so Jan Susan knows I'm gonna introduce her to come up to the stage and present the 2022 and 2023 Bristol Bayhawk victors. Good morning. The Bristol Bayhawk Victor Program is a collaborative employee recognition program developed and implemented by the Staff Senate. The program recognizes all of the hard work, innovation, and dedication our Bristol employees do. Nominations for the Bristol Bayhawk Victor can be submitted for any Bristol employee by any Bristol employee. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing. Please hold your applause while I read the list of the 2022 2023 winners. Natalie Souza, Administrative Assistant for Business Solutions and Partnership. Katie Mello, Administrative Assistant for Behavioral Social Sciences and Education. Heidi Campbell, was a clerk at the time but has now been promoted to a coordinator, a coordinator for the um, grant program in Behavioral and Social Sciences. Richard Boyer, Electrician in Facilities. Marie Kaskmarski, Special Program Coordinator for Nursing. Julie Panero, Accountant in Administration and Finance. Brittany Forand, Senior Special Program Coordinator for Financial Aid. Shannon Savoy, Administrative Assistant at our Taunton campus. Asani Morehouse, EDP System Analyst for Online Learning. Kathy Foley Perez, Learning Specialist in Disability Services, and Mitch Kenyon, Library Assistant in the LLC here in Fall River. Congratulations to you all. Please continue to nominate your peers. The link is in every issue of our Bristol Weekly. Now I'll ask President Douglas to come back to the stage. All right, so we have a surprise for the next couple of awards. We're gonna start with the Silver Shield. The Silver Shield is awarded to members of the college community who made significant contributions to the college during the current academic year. Winners were nominated by their colleagues. These winners have not been announced to date. So please stand when your name is called and remain standing. Kindly hold your applause until the end and the winners of this year's Silver shield are it's just like the Oscars <laughs> and the winners are Emily Brown S 
All right, we won't, uh, we won't hold applause until the end. <laughs> Stacy Charbonneau Hess. <laughs> Kelly Fassbender. And Danielle Lacitra. Congratulations on this great honor. Very well deserved. So uh, let's uh, move on now to our next surprise announcement, which is Scepter and Scroll. The Scepter and Scroll Award is awarded to members of the college community who have consistently provided exceptional college service and or leadership over a period of years. Recipients are installed in perpetuity in the Scepter and Scroll Society. Winners were nominated by their colleagues. These winners have not been announced and uh, I would like you to please uh, uh, stand when you call your name, when we call your name, and then remain standing. And yes, you can now applause after each individual is called. We found out that doesn't work, right? There we go. So, the Scepter and Scroll Award goes to. Drum roll, please. Autumn Alden. Jamie Botello, <laughs> Shelly Costa, <laughs> Andrea Fortier. Christine L. Hastrider. There she is. Kelly Hiller. <laughs> Catherine Lawton. And Jay. Crystal Puniello. Congratulations to all of our Scepter and Scroll awardees today. What a great honor. Let's give uh, our Silver Shield and our Scepter and Scroll awardees one more round of applause. I'd like to share some information about an exciting new program that we are launching this summer. And you all, all the retirees, you don't need to hear about this, but everybody else, you might really like this deal, right? It's called Casual for a Cause. Uh, and we've occasionally done some dress down days, et cetera, et cetera. But this year we're doing something a little bit different. We're starting something new and the the foundation, in partnership with our human resources uh, area, is asking faculty and staff to support the CARE Fund. And that's the, the fund that we use to support our students who are maybe challenged with some basic needs. But we're asking faculty and, and staff to support the CARE Fund through the Casual for a Cause program. Uh, it's a tradition um, that is, has been under different names and done in various ways, but this year we're asking for faculty and staff to give $52 a year to support the CARE Fund, and as a result, then you're able to dress down on Fridays for the entire year. So that would beginning, begin after commencement on May 26. So every Friday, those who support this campaign will dress down while proudly wearing a casual for a cause bracelet. So that will be your little identifier that you are supporting 
our CARE Fund uh, through this action. So the CARE Fund, remember, helps students facing urgent needs by providing relatively small grants, up to a few hundred dollars, to face down those challenges that they might otherwise, uh, they might, that might otherwise disrupt their ability to come to college and to complete a course or their degree or certificate. So not only will you have the pleasure of wearing jeans on Fridays, but you'll be putting funds directly into the pockets of students who really need it the most. And we vet all of these situations. So we're really, these are really needy students. So on Dress Down Fridays, the dress code is comfortable, casual, yet presentable for business. So more details will be available for those who participate. Now we're not talking about holy jeans and that kind of stuff. You know, you know, you know, you have good judgment. We have a table here today. I believe it's just right outside the door with some more information. There's also a QR code that will help take you directly to the giving page so that you can understand everything that it's about and make a donation. Uh, to get the full benefit of dressing down starting May 26, make your gift before then, please. So don't hesitate to reach out to uh, our friends uh, in the development office, Judy Urquhart, Steve Regnaud, or Don Banville. If you have any questions, they will help you. So last but not least, I would like to thank everyone who helped make this event possible today. Thank you, Emmanuel, Philomena, the HR team, as well as marketing and communications for your partnership in this effort. It really does take a lot of people to make something like this go off without a hitch. So now I'd like to call on Emmanuel to come back up to the podium uh, to close out our program. How about a round of applause for HR and marketing? Thank you, President Douglas. First, I would like to thank all of you for joining us today. It is always a great time when we can all get together. I also want to thank Philomena Ponte and Lisa Parsons for all of the hard work they did in putting this fantastic event together. If we could please give them a round of applause. So a few important closing items, uh, the award winners, we have tables in the back corner of the atrium now to receive your awards. Uh, that includes Silver Shield, Scepter and Scroll, and Retirees. Also, the Year of Service pins are available in the lobby as you walk out. Please make sure to stop by the table and pick up your pin. And again, thank you everyone for attending this event and making it what it was, a great time to be together. Take care. <laughs>